Oh, jeez. Soldier Fortune Black Ops just sent uh, Captain's Curse flying. Oh, and then Soldier Fortune just wiped out. Here, have some, uh, have some gas there, Soldier Fortune. Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Toucan Plays Monster Jam Steel Titans 2. And today we are going to be playing as the one, the only, Gravedigger the Legend. And let's take a quick look at him real quick. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. Right on his backside. Gravedigger the Legend, Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. Now, I have done a bit of a review on Gravedigger the Legend in the past, but I want to do another quick review because he's such a cool truck. <laughs> he is a good one. Gravedigger the Legend. Blue. Yeah, this is... Now, I don't know if this truck was ever... I mean, it has been officially driven, but I don't know if this was like an actual classic truck or if they've remade it in the image of an old school gravedigger. I, I don't think that this exact truck is an actual classic truck. Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm saying what I what I mean to be saying. I, I know that this truck, the Gravedigger the Legend, is a truck that's been driven in the monster truck circuit. But I don't think that like the truck that it's modeled after was an actual truck if that makes any sense whatsoever. Like, Gravedigger's been around for a very long time. Ugh! <laughs> um, but I don't know if this particular model and, and chassis and everything has been driven 30, 40 years ago. I think that this is just a more recent uh, iteration in homage to uh, an old school Gravedigger, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's go find Gravedigger the Legends Hidden World Collectible. It is found back here in the backwoods. And if you need to know the exact location, I do have a video. You can find it up in the top right corner of the screen. I'll put a link right here. That is a video guide to the entire haunted forest. But it is back here behind the castle. There is this secret little uh, marble statue of Gravedigger the Legend that will slide out of the way if you've got Gravedigger the Legend. And just to kind of give you a quick reference, up there is the castle. And down here is where that little uh, statue is, that marble statue. But anyway, you drive on in. There's a nice little waterfall off to the left. And kind of a cave, cave catacomb, whatever you want to call it over here. And there is all of the old school grave diggers. That one right there, I think that is actually son of a digger, if I am not mistaken. Someone leave a comment with all of these grave diggers. But I do believe that is son of a digger. I don't think that's actually a grave digger. This one over here. Whoa. Come on, don't back up. Where are you going? Stop. Don't move. There we go. This one right here, I think that's also... Well, that's, a, that's an old school grave digger, I suppose. There is definitely an old school grave digger right up there. See, now it looks like they've got these plaques on here as if they were meaning to like, record dates and or models of these trucks. They're all the same truck, though, with the exception of this one over here. And this one over here, actually... That one over there is this truck right here. This is the original Grave Digger. Ha <laughs> I really like this. This, uh, this one came out just recently, actually. It was a recent pickup that we got. But yeah, that is, that is an actual classic Grave Digger mudder truck. That's, that's the old school. This one wasn't actually driven back in the day. And that is what that truck is up there at the top. That's that old school one. But I think all the rest of these trucks, they're just copies of the same Gravedigger? I don't know. They look all very similar anyway. Wah! Whoa! You can drive right through them, apparently. 
But anyway, yeah, this is kind of a fun little, um, a little monument to a uh, grave digger. Well, you drive up to the top. And when you get up here to the top, there is a little boost that kind of sends you flying up into the air. And, oh, hopefully you don't miss it like I just did. <laughs> let's try that again. Okay, let's try this one more time. So you hit this boost, you go flying, and there you go. Yeah, get Grave Digger, the Legends, Hidden World Collectible, and then you, you kind of fall right down through the middle there. <laughs> Now, Gravedigger the Legend does not have a chapter of his own because he is the starred uh, truck for this zone. He's the undead, uh, but he's got the star. So what that means is that you have to go through the, the Haunted Forest and collect all of the Hidden World collectibles. And let me tell you, some of them are hidden. I'm going to put a link up in that top right corner again to my video that shows you where you can find all of the Hidden World collectibles here in the uh the hidden forest so that you can unlock grave digger the legend for yourself but now since he does not have a chapter of his own i'm gonna have to figure out what to do we're just gonna do some quick play let's do it and you know what i haven't been to las vegas in quite some time in real life and in the game but uh let's uh let's start off here in las vegas doing some timed destruction here at the sam boyd stadium and there he is, Gravedigger the Legend. Going down Titan's Lane. Three, two, one, and go! Here we go. Lots of stuff to smash here in Las Vegas because this is one of the world, uh, world champion arenas here. World championships. Oh, yes. Let's get all these porta potties. Dice blocks. I think the dice blocks come from Las Vegas, right? They've got to. The only problem with Las Vegas is they've got these uh, these box trucks right here to smash, but if you don't hit them fast enough, they don't smash. <laughs> oh, some more porta potties and some crush cars over here. I lost my combo, which kind of stinks, but yeah, whatever. There's still, like I said, plenty of stuff to smash, and this isn't for, like, an event or anything for world career mode. This is just for fun. Let's come over here to this backflip container and get these blimps off the backflip container. Whoa! Too big of a jump! Or rather, I was not lined up properly. Let's try this one more time. There's only two left. Wow! That blimp was so low, I just ran into it. <laughs> Let's try this one more time. I'm losing my panels. Here we go. Come on, let's get them all. Six, seven, eight. Nice. I got them. And I got a nice little power out out of it, too. Woohoo! Big air. <laughs> Almost got all those blimps. Not quite. Let's get some more backflips off the containers. Wow! That is some big air and some blimps. Running out of time, and I am only in 12th place. That is pretty sad. Come on, come on. Let's get some more. Oh, jeez. Those blimps are not behaving well. Or rather, the backflip containers are not doing well for me. Lots of stuff to smash here. Lots of outhouses. Our timer is up. We are in overtime, so whatever we get here, this is going to be it. 53 times combo. I think that's going to do it. And that got us up to fourth place. Not too bad. Not as good as I would hope, though. But, eh. Win some, you lose some. All right. Let's move on to some head-to-heads. This time, instead of doing my usual, what I like to do in Vegas with the uh, the official length that's just a J-hook style race on so less than a lap, just like one little hook around, we're going to do an extended race, which means five laps. Uh, five laps. And our first container looks... Container? First contender is going to be Monster Mutt Husky. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Perfect start. Coming down Titan's Lane. Oh, got a slow way down. Coming around the corner. Nice. Good first lap. Oh, no, we were a little cockeyed there. 
That's alright, we got this, we got this. Here we go, here we go, okay. Good, going down the chicane, now come around the corner. Straight on this time, much better. Good landing. Oh, just a little bit of a clipping, but not too bad. Straight up, get lots of speed coming around that corner. We are way out ahead of Monster Mutt Husky. Oh! <laughs> yeah, so we're almost four seconds ahead of Husky, and we've got one more lap to go. A uh, lap and a half. Now we've got one more lap to go. Oh, jeez. Stay, come on, stay up. Stay up. No off-track penalties, please. Woo. Here we go, here we go. No, 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 no. Oh, there we go, there we go. Ha, ha, ha. I got it, but I was a little worried there. I cut that one a little too close, and I almost biffed it on those cars. Oh, we got it, though. All right, Monster Mud Husky is out of the way. Who is next? It's going to be Avenger. Very nice, very nice. All right, let's see. Who do you think is going to make it all the way? Who's going to be my final competitor? Let's see. Soldier Fortune Black Ops? Maybe. Uh, no, it's going to be from the other side, right? I bet it's going to be... I bet it's going to be Sparkle Smash. That's it. That's my, my guess. Sparkle Smash. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Let's get our first competitor out of the way, which is going to be Avenger. Man, that's such a cool truck. Hey, and if you haven't seen our last toy review video, we did unbox Avenger, the 2003 Championship Edition. It was so cool. I'm going to put a link in the top right corner. Be sure to check that out after you're done watching this video. Whoa! Big air! Nice. Oh, slow down. Here we go. Coming around the corner. Good. Hey, we're doing an awesome run this time. Oh, I say that as we go almost flying off track, but hey, not too bad. Not too bad. Build up some speed. Slow it way down. Coming around the corner. Line it up. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. We're five seconds ahead of Avenger. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Whoa! Final lap. Final lap. Come on, we can do this. You know, this is actually kind of fun with the extended laps. Come on, come on. Oh, no! <laughs> I wanted to do a big air with some flips, but I did not line that up properly. Oh, well. All right, Avenger is out of there. Sparkle Smash does advance. Northern Nightmare and Bakugan Dragonoid as well. And we're going to be going up against Bakugan Dragonoid next. I do love the light show and the fireworks. And the pyrotechnics here in Las Vegas. It does make it feel like this is the world finals. Nice. Bakugan Dragonoid. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Perfect start. Coming down Titan's Lane. It's not It's not th Titan's Lane. It's Thunder Alley. I just realized that. I wonder if uh, Thunder Alley is uh, trademarked or something. They couldn't use it. Yeah, whatever. Or maybe they wanted to change it to Titan's Lane because this is Steel Titans. Oh well. We are playing on hard, even though it may not seem like it. My truck is completely leveled up. Whoa! We're still four seconds ahead of Bakugan Dragonoid. I don't want to get too cocky though, because you know what happens when I do that. One more lap to go. That was a great launch off the, the berm right there. Almost a full four seconds ahead of Bakugan Dragonoid. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> nice, there we go. Come on, where are you at? Ah, <laughs> didn't have enough time to crash into him. 
All right, who are we gonna go against? Is it Sparkle Smash? Please tell me it's Sparkle Smash. It is! Yes! <laughs> All right, final round. Toucan plays versus Sparkle Smash. All right, there's the big fluffy unicorn herself. Sparkle Smash! <laughs> Here we go, three, two, one, and go! Perfect start. Coming down Thunder Alley slash Titan's Lane. Whoa! Whoa, big air! Nice! You know, overall, they did a pretty good job of modeling uh, Sam Boyd Stadium here in Vegas, but uh, eh. there's a lot of things that don't quite fit. Like these concrete cylinders. I don't remember those concrete cylinders being in uh, Sam Boyd Stadium. I grew up in Las Vegas. I've been to Sam Boyd Stadium many times before. But I usually I was focused on whatever was happening down on the field, so I didn't really pay much attention to the architecture. Whoa, I went off field, or off uh, track. I know, the crowd booed me. Shame on me. Come on, come on, here we go, last one. Nice. <laughs> I had to give the crowd a, a bit of a stoppy for the end there. <laughs> now they're cheering for me. All right, we have won. We beat Sparkle Smash. Nice. That was a fun uh, fun little head-to-head -head run. All right, let's finish off Las Vegas with a freestyle. Three, two, one, and here we go. Now, my buddy J-Pace has got a, what, a 19 times combo on this track? I don't know how he managed to do that. I, I think there's some... Uh, some treachery afoot there. I don't know what he did. But he did pretty darn good. A not, uh, 19 times combo. I can't believe that. Oh, no. <laughs> the most I've gotten here, I think, was a 15, 14 or 15 times combo. If you're going to try and go for the high combos, this is the place to do it for sure. I, I've kind of given up trying to compete against J-Pace. I will, I will concede. He is, he is the best at this game. If you haven't checked out J-Pace, you need to go check out J-Pace Racing. He's got a great channel and he does a lot of great Monster Jam content. Oh! <laughs> 10 times combo. I haven't even gotten an 11 times combo at this run yet. You know what? I like to just have fun, though. I, I don't... I'm not always a big competitor. I just like to have fun. Oh, I tried to go for a double. That was not going to happen. <laughs> nice. Wheelie. Sky wheelie. Big air. And a moonwalk. Come on. Where's the moonwalk? There's the stoppy. Where's the moonwalk? You didn't give it to me? Rude. Those judges, man. Ah, uh, well, I am in first place. Whoa. Got a wheelie there. Sky wheelie into a stoppy. Oh, and I flipped it. Oh no, that's gonna be the end of my run. That is too bad. I was having a good run there. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much, my adoring fans. All right, let's head over to the Rusty Ravine and do some circuit races. And of course, they've got <laughs> Grave Digger right in front of me. That's not good. Oh, I managed to get in front of him. Nice. And I'm stopping everybody behind me. That's awesome. <laughs> How do you like it, Grave Digger? <laughs> All right, so we've just got 
uh, alien invasion in front of us here. Now, alien invasion is going to be a pain because he's a, a defender. And he's got that defender ability, the shield ability. No! That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, jeez. Oh, Soldier Fortune Black Ops just sent uh, Captain's Curse flying. Oh, and then Soldier Fortune just wiped out. Here, have some, uh, have some gas there, Soldier Fortune. Huh. Man, this is a cutthroat race, man. Everybody's just blasting around everywhere. Okay, we're going to shoot up the ramp. <laughs> Poor whiplashes. Just trying to stay out of it, I bet. Oh, I think I just saw Alien Invasion wipe out. Yes! Bye, Alien Invasion. Okay, but that means that... Uh, oh, Gravedigger just wiped out. Okay, good. I snuck my way into the lead. No. No, 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 no. Okay, good. No! Ah, they always give me that off-track debuff there. But now I'm, I'm, I'm making everybody behind me just stop dead. <laughs> I love it. This right here is what I live for in this game. I love these outdoor races. Don't get me wrong, I like free freestyle as well. And uh, head-to-heads are fun too. But these outdoor races are the best. No, I hate that bump. Come on, come on. Oh, Alien Invasion, what did you do? What did you do? We're coming into the final stretch here, and uh, I am not going to make anything past third, I think. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> that was fun, though. Definitely a tough race. Yeah, all right, let's finish this video off with a little bit of Bone Dash. Okay, so a couple people I'm worried about. We've got uh, Mohawk Warrior. And we've got uh, Son of a Digger. Those two are going to be a pain. They're going to knock everybody around. But this track is, is wide open, and there's not a whole lot of stuff to worry about. The two monster butt pals are... Uh... <laughs> oh, no, what was that? I was not off course. I don't know what that was all about. Hmm. Hmm. A mushroom of Dalmatian just went flying. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I just went flying. Ah! I don't know why, but I'm so used to going the opposite direction. Everybody went jumping over the side here. Oh, hello. <laughs> What's up, Doomsday? Here, have, uh, have a little bit of gas. <laughs> Some poison gas. Oh, oh. <laughs> Guys, you should not have tried to go for that. <laughs> Nice! There we go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, folks. <laughs> All right, here we go. Coming into the final stretch. Up and over the finish line. No backflips because I don't want to end up on my head. <laughs> okay, not doing too bad. We're out ahead of everybody right now. Just gotta stay up on all fours. Uh-oh, somebody's coming up right on my tail. Maybe I can give him a dose of my gas. Nice, there we go. Whoa! Okay, not doing too bad. The guys in the back are, seem to be struggling a little bit. I don't know what their problem is exactly, but... Nice! There we go! First place win! I didn't even realize I was coming up on the finish line. Alright, well that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video as much as I enjoyed making it. 
Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Be sure to check out the video that you see on your screen right now, and we'll see you guys on the flip side. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Later! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I'm upside down. <laughs> Please! Ha, ha, ha.